I'm very honored to be joined today by Travis Avery. He is marketing director of Sawyer. You all know Sawyer, right? The famous Sawyer Mini that we rely on. I wanted to talk to you guys about how much more there is about Sawyer. It's really so much more than the product. It's about people. I don't know if you know this, but Sawyer donates 90% of profits to charities, right? So they are in the business of saving lives. And so I'll let Travis speak to that about their programs. And um, So the company's been around since 1984. Uh, we started um, in the first aid industry and then slowly expanded into like insect repellents, sunscreens, and then water filtration. And the goal was always to, you know, leave the world a better place. Uh, so between all of the uh, disease carrying insects, mosquito borne diseases have killed more humans than humans have killed, killed humans. And then inevitably with water filtration, obviously it's a global uh, need and it's the single leading cause of uh, death in children under the age of five around the world. Uh, so when we learned um, what our filters could do beyond the backyard, whether it was, you know, hiking, uh, hunting or whatever, um, uh, we quickly realized the impact that these filters can make internationally. And then so 2008, we started a pilot program with two of our um, longtime uh, partners, one now called Water by Women in Honduras, um, and then um, one with Give Clean Water in Fiji. And those were kind of the two pilot programs. And now we work with about 140 charities in over 80 countries where our water uh, filters are bringing clean water people on a daily basis. I got to see it in a village where lots of missionary work down there. And they brought dozens of these. Okay, so this one little filter, this is the Sawyer Mini, you know, the original. Most of you probably know it. And this little filter hooked up in a creative way can filter one one of these is a hundred thousand gallons of water right right so what i tell people all the time i teach you know the survival and bushcraft and all this stuff in my lifetime this filter is going to outlast me right for me personally yeah, but you exactly. put this into yeah. a village yep it's fascinating amazing yeah. Yeah, so, we have uh, some filters that are uh, have been in consistent daily use for over 10 years now. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm approaching oh. 15 or 16 years old. So, um, yes, the 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 oh. longevity uh, uh, potential of these filters uh, um, is real. Uh, and as long as you uh, care and maintain for them, uh, um, they will continue to perform for you, which is how we've been able to provide clean water to more than like 28 million people thus far. It's amazing. Yeah, I saw this village go from diarrhea, sickness sure. that sure. was plaguing them forever yep. to clean water. Yeah, we are, we are documented uh, uh, to get uh, usually over 90% reduction rate in diarrhea. Um, yeah. So reducing something as little as, you know, itchy throats and sore throats all the way down to what they call a runny stomach. And so um, we're able to... Um, uh, not only there's a lot of socioeconomic impact that also comes from having just clean water. So kids are missing less school days. They're doing better in school. Parents are uh, not missing work days uh, um, for either themselves or for the kids. Uh, so we did a study in Fiji that showed they were able to bring an eighth of their annual income back to them just by them having clean water. And we also have a project going down in um, Mexico right now, uh, Ciudad Victoria, where um, some of these families are spending up to 25% of their income on clean water. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you mentioned some of them are boiling water, which can be a natural resource uh, heavy um, and uh, uh, other places they have to pay for water, depending. They might have they might be in a city, but like you said, they don't have what we would consider modern infrastructure. So even if they have access to water, also might not be uh, safe to drink. And that's where this filter can really make a huge difference for the vast majority of people around the world where uh, the contamination is only biological. Uh, so, you know, bacteria, protozoa, and cysts. Um, so, um, yeah, we feel incredibly grateful that we've been able to make this impact. And it's based solely on all the people who have supported us over the years, whether they're buying our water filters or, or bug spray. Uh, the bug sprays inevitably help even more. Um, so, yeah, we feel incredibly fortunate to be able to use our, our own products to not only help people out in their um, you know, uh, uh, backcountry excursions or however they recreate outdoors, but also be able to use that exact same product uh, to provide truly life-changing uh, uh, difference. Yeah, that's the point. 
that I love to tell people is that when you're buying this product, any product from Sawyer, you know, obviously you're getting it and it's, you need it and it's, it's beautiful product. But what you're really doing is you're, you know, saving a life. Yes. No, we appreciate it. Yeah. We try to keep everything very uh, cost competitive and whatnot, but yes, being a uh, small family owned company, we don't have the fiduciary responsibility of maximizing profits for the corporates. Uh, So we get to kind of make those compounding micro decisions that end up making big uh, uh, macro impacts. The beautiful thing too, is if you go to Sawyer.com, go to their website, find it, they have their case studies or the stories of yep system that they're using called the international bucket yep and basically they're taking a is it a two gallon no a 10 gallon bucket uh they're they range from a two gallon to five gallon but you basically can take any receptacle and turn it into a low cost uh, gravity system yeah it's fascinating so they're introducing these into these communities and you know filtering it with the mini or the squeeze yep it's a real simple go to the website but what's fascinating about the website is they show you okay we went to this country this village we worked with the local people and here's what's happening now here's how we did it it's it's all filmed they have yep. sawyer ambassadors that travel the world and they put this out there for you to learn about what they're doing with their you know with these donations of the profit yeah so beautiful. like uh, uh we appreciate that yeah two of the biggest things that we've learned over the years is um you know one um, uh, the most successful charities or organizations that make these projects uh, uh, happen are best uh, uh, implemented when it's the people in country. So it's like these these friends and families and neighbors providing, using our filter technology to spread this uh, uh, clean water access to their um, uh, villages and uh, counties and countries. And so we feel very fortunate in that. And then we also actually even have a new uh, tap filter, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, which uses the exact same fibers on the inside, but allows for areas where they might have infrastructure, like you're talking about, where they have a faucet, but it's not necessarily uh, 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 safe to to drink. Uh, This tap filter, uh, it's available domestically, but we built it for the international market uh, uh, in intent. Uh, so that can also uh, help bring clean water to places above and beyond where the gravity uh, system um, is a more common uh, system for lower income when there are sort, you know, people are walking two plus hours a day to get uh, buckets of clean water uh, or just buckets of water to bring back home um, and s- certainly not guaranteed to be clean. So it's our, we feel like it's our responsibility now uh, to uh, uh, do what we can to uh, um, save as many people as we can. Other thing I was going to talk about is in the community that I'm in, in survival and bushcraft, and it comes up all the time that, well, this water filter does, you know, 0.1 micron, and this one doesn't do protozoa. This one doesn't do bacteria, blah, 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 blah. I've seen this thing in action. I've used it for, it's got to be 15 years. What I always tell people is like, no, that's not true. Sawyer is leading the technology. Sawyer yeah, is 100%. So, yeah, our lead it's engineer. Real is- deal. It, our lead engineer is the gentleman who introduced hollow fiber uh, uh, membrane water filtration technology to the market. Uh, so we were the the the, the person who pioneered that uh, is our lead engineer, um, and uh, um, that's why our filter technology still hasn't been able to be replicated even after all these years. Uh, there are other brands that still use hollow fiber membrane, but not uh, to our quality um, or uh, durability. And so, yes, there are other filters out there that use 0.1 or um, uh, uh, larger filters uh, um, or pore sizes on their hollow fibers. Uh, But Sawyer uh, is still the only 0.1 micron absolute uh, uh, system that can perform uh, uh, as well as it does, as well as also removing 100% of microplastics. Yeah, I've used this. I've used this my mini all over the world. Yep, no issues ever in the nastiest, dirtiest water you could ever see. And I can tell you, <laughs> I'm here. Everything's fine, and anyone that I know has used it. Yep, no problem. Was, uh, seven log bacterial removal. I was really excited to see a new product. I saw the tap, which okay. would be beautiful. I mean, I know places even here where yep. that tap. Yep, I'd be recommending it. Yeah, but no, I saw so we're, a new we're, product. Yeah, okay, go ahead. That's the actual, so it's just like a, you know, water bottle and then the filter is just built into it. And that comes up in the survival community because there's other products now where in survival, we know that 
in a situation where you're trying to evade, basically. So everybody needs water, including the animals and, say, other people that are trying to get you, right? Yep. Not your friends. Well, everyone's at a water source. And with other products, what's been an issue is getting to that water source. And the way that it's built is getting that water, filtering it, blah, blah, blah. Sure. And so this new product that you're putting out is just a water bottle with the filter in it, which would enable you to very quickly run up, sure. scoop up the yep. water, yep. seal it, and run yep. away. Filtration on so, the fly. I'm excited about that. I'm yep. definitely looking for it. I don't. Is it available yet? Uh, it's available at uh, multiple retailers, um, but inevitably um, Amazon will be the most cost competitive. Okay. The exact same. We still use the exact same high quality fibers in all of our systems, just with a different uh, uh, use case or application or uh, um, um, filtration type. New missions, new projects that you guys yeah, are working so on. So we've done a, a few countrywide projects. So like um, uh, Liberia, Fiji, and Marshall Islands now all have border-to-border -border clean water according to the UN Sustainability, Sustainability Model Number 6, uh, which is uh, uh, awesome. Um, but we have learned that the border-to-border -border projects um, um, offer their own unique challenges in achieving that actual completion rate. Um, so uh, while it is amazing and it's still a priority for us we're also shifting um our kind our, our current time and efforts towards places of very high need so that's why we're doing that research project in uh, uh ciudad victoria mexico to try out all right some places they're going to use the the bucket system some places there you're going to use the tap filter some places they're going to use um a filtration bottle type setup and so we're basically trying to learn how to best utilize our filter technology in these different uh, uh, um, uh, urban or um, rural uh, setups uh, to continue to kind of maximize our efficiency and maximize our clean water efforts to hopefully uh, in our lifetime uh, uh, bring clean water uh, to uh, the entire world. All right, Travis. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you so yeah. much. Like and again, go to I believe all the studies are on Sawyer.com. Is yep, that correct? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, all of our studies are posted. You can uh, uh, check um, out where some of our current uh, uh, programs and projects are. You can check out some of our different uh, uh, specific charity partners. Uh, if you want to donate directly, we have the Sawyer Foundation, where 100% of those donations go to water uh, projects exclusively, not just research projects. So um, uh, there's multiple ways to learn or get involved, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, using any of our products from the water filtration to the sunscreen or insect repellents truly helps us kind of bring these clean water uh, systems around the world. Excellent. Well, thank you again and beautiful company. I appreciate you. Appreciate that. And I appreciate you uh, helping spread the word. 100%. 100%. All right, everybody. Hang tough. I'll see you later.